Whenever we take a photograph with a digital camera, the camera would record a black and white image unless some method is used to extract color information. The most commonly used method is to apply a color filter array or color filter mosaic. This is a filter that sits on top of the camera sensor and it limits the light hitting the sensor to one of a few colors. Usually these are gonna be red, green, and blue. And the most common type of filter is known as the Bayer filter, which was invented in the 1970s by a guy called Bryce Bayer, who worked for Kodak. The filter is shown on the left here, and as you can see, it consists of rows of red and green, or green and blue, and half the pixels are green, with a quarter being red and a quarter being blue. This arrangement is very different from another type of filter known as the X-Trans filter, which is used in Fujifilm cameras. The difference between these two is pretty significant. The Bayer filter has rows that contain red and green or blue and green, whilst the X-Trans filter has all three colors on all rows and all columns. The X-Trans filter is considered to be better for eliminating artifacts like moiré, which can appear inside images where there is some type of repeating pattern like textures on a cloth or bricks on a building. Whatever method is used, it has to be demosaiced inside of software. This can be done inside the camera or it can be done inside of software like Darktable here. Inside of Darktable, we can actually switch off the demosaicing algorithm. And this is what it looks like. The image becomes black and white, but there are significant artifacts. And if I zoom into a patch of clear blue sky, you'll be able to see the X-Trans pattern inside of the image. This is what needs to be demosaiced. And when it is demosaiced, we get something that looks like this. A clear, clean blue sky and whichever method we use to demosaic, a blue sky is gonna look pretty much the same. However, when we turn to something like a building, like this building here on the left, the results are very different. Zoomed into 1600%, you can see a lot of interesting colors coming through inside of the demosaic image. And if I choose a different method, say the frequency domain chroma, we get a very different result. And this is the consequence of using different types of algorithm when you are processing your image. This facility to change the demosaicing algorithm is not available in all software. And if you decide to choose to export your image as a JPEG from inside the camera, you won't get the option to choose your demosaicing method.